want to talk today about mining um most of you here know that i'm actually hooked on mining i'm a mining fan cryptocurrency and all of that so in the last videos of mining you've actually uh, seen me teach you one of the basic components you need for mining right so today i basically want to talk about mining using microcontrollers it's confusing but the best thing about this is that it's sort of cheaper um you can actually create um uh, a microcontroller mining rig i actually have four microcontrollers that are on their way uh the gpu has just arrived i'll actually be doing a video separate video on that to basically show you the whole setup of it it's a very very long complicated process we have a, a solar panel setup we have a cooling system uh set up and then we also have uh, the setting up of the gpu and installing the gpu choosing the algorithm choosing the coin and um, actually uh, creating the batch, the batch file for the mining pool so it's sort of what i'm about to do right now is mining using a microcontroller right because that one is mining using a gpu this is mining using a microcontroller it's not really confusing but it's just the same thing as using a gpu but you're using a different algorithm you're using a different um coding system microcontrollers are used to input code right that the, the microcontrollers like arduino arduino microcontrollers you can use raspberry pi microcontrollers or you can use esp microcontrollers but i think my esp microcontrollers are even cheaper but if they're more cheaper they probably have less mining uh processing power that could, that means that they won't mine a lot of cryptocurrency for you but uh, arduino raspberry pi they can be they can get the job done easily Con considering that you actually set up maybe a mining uh, uh, a microcontroller mining rig with at least four microcontrollers like i'm actually going to be doing so microcontrollers are not that expensive um raspberry pi one raspberry pi microcontroller you're not gonna get that in in Botswana. they're very very expensive here but if you get it online, you can actually get one um, uh, Raspberry Pi for 500, 500 Pula. Um, shipping will probably be around that much too. So 1,000 Pula just get a microcontroller, right? But Arduino microcontrollers are also very, very affordable. So if you buy a microcontroller Uno, um, that can cost you around 100 bucks, including shipping. But I bought four, and I also have an, an Atini microcontroller, which is an Arduino uh, companion. So those are also going to be used to mine cryptocurrencies. And my number one advice will always be mine very, very cheap altcoins with these particular microcontrollers. Do not mine Bitcoin with microcontrollers. Do not mine Bitcoin with your inexpensive GPUs because it's not worth it. Because Bitcoin is already expensive. You will not be able to mine it because there isn't much Bitcoin out there because everyone has bought it. But if you mine very, very affordable altcoins, it means one thing. If the altcoin is very, very cheap, the volume is massive you can actually mine a lot and it's it, 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 it this uses a concept of storing value right you store value you keep it and um we've seen a lot of people become very very rich in the last year or so especially, especially during covid covid has created a lot of uh, millionaires um if you want to go and check out um the link to the article i wrote called covid 19 the millionaire makers also attached to this video uh give it give it a try so yeah mining with microcontrollers requires you to have an arduino ide right arduino ide is basically the coding uh, compiler for arduino the code for mining is pretty much uh, simple in the sense that it's already there you don't need to code it for yourself it's a copy and paste code but just make sure that you have an ide for me i have all the versions i think i have all, all three versions of arduino ide uh, copy and paste it into the compiler and run it when you run it you actually have to actually now go to the uh avr miner which is the only miner that mines cryptocurrency with microcontrollers um it, it's a pretty pretty cool uh technology mining is, is one of those things which you can be flexible with and the thing about mining with microcontrollers is that you can always have uh, um a separate uh power source right for me i think that what i'm going to be using to power these microcontrollers has to be the solar right because solar is it's, it's i mean it's not a lot of power you cannot uh, power your gpu with solar unless if it's very very powerful solar but if you're using um very very small panels like i'm using 22 solar panels um and each kind of gives a voltage of 5 volts so this would be good for your microcontrollers because microcontrollers in general i don't require a lot of power right but 
they do have a good processing uh, system which can actually generate a lot of cryptocurrencies and the coin you're going to be using to mine with your microcontrollers is duino right duino coin is one of those coins which allow for you to mine with microcontrollers like arduino raspberry pi and esp so um as you can see on this picture attached to this video right over here i think um this is one of the compilers for arduino ide you have to, you're going to need to download this and make sure that by the time your memory controller arrives you mine with this particular uh, ide over here and the code um whenever you're ready you can get it on google copy and paste it on the compiler and run it you run it you create an avr miner um, a file so that you can actually uh, connect your microcontroller and the Duino a AVR uh, a mining algorithm or the mining pool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, see you next time when I actually do a video on the GPU mining, which I'll be mining Shiba Inu with. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.